Yeah, welcome to my channel. Let's quickly solve for the value of x, okay? Um, like when I ever whenever I see this kind of question, the first thing that comes to my mind is how do I simplify this question? And looking at what we have here on the board, we can simplify this further if we can call x to the power of six something, okay? So let's just do that and say let x to the power of six be equal to m, okay? Let's call it m. Now, anywhere we see x, we are going to replace it with what? That means we are going to find the value of x first. So, but recall that according to the law of indices or exponents, that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn, okay? Now, that means that for us to get the value of x, we are going to raise each side of this equation to the power of 1 over 6, right? So let's just do that. Now, that is when this, we divide this, and we have that x is equal to m to the power of 1 over 6. Now, this is a very important equation, okay? So anywhere we see x in this particular term, we are going to replace it with m to the power of 1 over 6. Now, let's go ahead and do that. So x is here, so we are going to write m the power of 1 over 6, okay? Now, raised to the power of what? 2 multiplied by what? Our x is m to the power of 1 over 6. Raised to the power of 6 is equal to what? 3. All right. Now, we go ahead and solve, right? Looking at what we have on the board, recall what I just said, that when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n, that this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So that means that here, we can actually write this as what? m raised to the power of 1 over 6 multiplied by 6, all right? And if we do that, we are going to have m to the power of 1 over 6 raised to the power of 2 brackets, m to the power of 1 over 6 multiplied by 6, right? And this is equal to 3. Now, this is going to divide this. And we have m to the power of 1 over 6, okay, raised to the power of 2m, all right, is equal to 3 because this is going to multiply m to give us 2m. Now, I will advise you wait and uh, watch to the end of the video and see how we substituted what we got as the value of our x into this place to prove that what we got is right. And recall that we are not looking for M, rather we are looking for X. So I advise you come down and watch to the end. Don't miss that interesting part. Okay, now let's continue. So we are going to apply the same law we applied here. So M to the power of 1 over 6 to the power of 2M. So this can multiply this, all right? So we are going to have M to the power of 1 over 6 multiplied by 2M, right? over 1 is equal to 3. That means 2 can divide this to give us 3, right? Now, when you look closely, what do we have? We have m to the power of what? m over 3 is equal to what? 3. All right. So, this is what we have. Now, at this point, we are actually, we want to bring m out. And how do we do that? We can raise each side of this equation to the power of what? 1 over right so if we do that we are going to have m raised to the power of what m over 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3 okay sorry raised to the power of 3 because we need a number that is going to cancel this to give us what m all right is equal to what 3 so we have m to the power of what m is going to be 3 to the power of 3. Now, when you look at this very well, if m to the power of m is equal to 3 to the power of 3, okay, that simply means that m is equal to 3 by comparison, right? So, m is equal to 3. But, recall that we are not looking for the value of m, rather we are looking for the value of x. So, that is where you recall that x to the power of 6 is equal to m, all right? So I'm going to replace this n with x to the power of 6. So I'll write x to the power of 6 is equal to what? 3. Now to get the value of x, 
I'm going to uh, raise each side of this equation to the power of 1 over 6, right? Is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 6. Now, this we divide this and we have that our x is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 6. All right. Now, let's get to the most interesting part of this video. So, let's prove that x is actually equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 6. I would like to do it here. So, let me clean this side of the board. Okay. Now the equation says x to the power of 2x to the power of 6 is equal to 3. Okay? Now, anyway, I see x, I'm going to replace it with 3 to the power of 1 over 6. Now, we'll have 3 to the power of 1 over 6, okay? Raised to the power of 2 bracket 3 to the power of 1 over 6 to the power of 6, right? Is equal to 3. Let me now clean this. Now, using the law of indices, this can divide this, right? So, we have 3 to the power of 1 over 6 raised to the power of 2 times 3 is 6 is equal to 3. Now, this will also divide itself to give us that 3 is equal to 3. And that is the answer. Since we have proved that the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side of the equation. Thank you so much for watching.